so why the Tempest right now? Um, and I think I'm a really instinctual person. You know, I go after things. I really believe in, I've learned how to trust my instinct. And then later on, I realize rationally why something matters. And it took me months to figure out why the Tempest mattered um, right now. And I think it's because it's a play about art. Yeah, Shakespeare's ultimate statement about art. Ephemeral, benevolent, malevolent, limitations of art, madness of art, restorative power, and redemptive power of art. It's a play that begins with a ship in a storm in inhospitable seas. And I was thinking about it, and I'm trying not to stretch too much, but theater companies, they're kind of these big ships, especially big regional theaters like this one. And in this economic, and I dare say cultural climate, the seas are not always hospitable for the arts and for what we do. So, you know, Tempest is a play in which people work out their conflicts in the context of art. It begins with a storm that's not really a storm. The storm is work of Prospero's and Ariel's art. So from the very first time, art has used this magic. It's used more, the word art, than in any other Shakespeare play. And it means different things at different moments, but from the beginning, Miranda says that art can be malevolent, that art can be destructive. The other thing that I've thought about, which was really personal, is that it's a play largely about an interior conflict inside of a man. Um, Prospero creates a shipwreck. He has control over the island. So both people who are shipwrecked and the islanders, both groups, he kind of seems to have a great deal of control over them from the beginning. So the question is, where is the suspense? Uh, so I think it has a lot to do with the battle that's inside of him, other characters, all of us, um, the desire for revenge, for reconciliation, for anybody who's been hurt, those warring impulses, and when you let go, and how those impulses have shaped those around him. So the reason I love directing Shakespeare plays, for me, Shakespeare is my best therapist. I don't need any other. He's my best priest. I don't need any other. And I feel that from just strictly a greedy point of view that Shakespeare plays liberate a director's imagination more than anything else.